Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mole Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about Chief here. Um, he has a disease called Cushing's. And basically, um, I showed that the other day on our Snapchat uh, because we were working on him and I talked about him a little bit. But today I want to talk about Cushing's in both horses and dogs. Basically, Cushing's is a disease with either the adrenal gland or the pituitary gland, um, where the body is producing too much internal steroids. So the adrenal gland is a little tiny gland that sits near the kidney, next to the kidney, and produces internal steroids for the body. Um, the pituitary gland regulates that. So you can have a tumor in either one of them, and the symptoms are going to be the same and be what we call Cushing's. In your dogs, the symptoms are often um, lethargy, so they just don't have as much energy. Hair loss, so their hair gets really thin and sparse, and they may even start to turn bald. A pot belly, so they start to get that big, distended, beer gut looking belly. Um, and then they can be prone to infections and things like that. In horses, like Chief, uh, the symptoms are a similar but a little bit different. Their hair actually gets really long and shaggy. So um, you probably can't notice here, but Chief is actually shaved down for the spring uh, because his hair gets really long and shaggy. And um, so that's one of the symptoms. The other symptom is uh, higher prone to infections. And then they can also get what we call laminitis which is really common in Cushing's horses. And laminitis is a separation between the hoof wall and the bone beneath it, and can be um, very painful and deadly uh, in some cases, where the, actu the bone actually sloughs out of the, of the hoof. So anyways, Cushing's um, is a disease that is not fixed, but managed instead. And so we need to do some testing for it. In Chief today, we're actually doing um, some testing to monitor how he's doing on the medications. And in horses, you test between November and um, March is when you get the best results. Uh, in dogs, we can test any time. It, it does take a little bit of time because they have to stay with us for several hours at the clinic while we do multiple blood draws. And sometimes we're injecting different things. There's a couple of different tests for dogs that we run. And so it depends on the situation. So when you talk to your vet, if you think that there is a question or a concern that you have about Cushing's, then um, we'll discuss that and, and decide what test is, is best. Basically, if they do come up positive for Cushing's, then it is a management, and it takes a lot of communication with you and your vet. And so you want to make sure and um, kind of keep a log how your animal is acting. Does it have more energy? Um, is it, oh, sorry, another symptom in dogs is um, increased urination and drinking. So is your pet drinking less now that it's on medication? Um, does it have more energy? Is it more playful? Etc. And then in the horses, similar, you know, does it have more energy? Is he, are they feeling better? Is the hair less of a problem being shaggy? Etc. And we also do monitoring with blood tests. So there's multiple blood tests that we do throughout the year to keep an eye, and there's a whole regimen. It is a quite involved disease to manage, but definitely doable. And so if you have any concerns or questions, um, we'd love to hear them. Uh, also give us comments on what topics you would like to hear about so that we can um, try and do some video tips on those. And if you have any concerns, also bring them in to us, let us take a look, and uh, we'll be more than happy to um, let you know if we feel that there is a concern. Hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.